Hi, I'm Vineet from Clear Tax. In this video, we will understand the provisions of Section 44AB of the Income Tax Act 1961. This section talks about the criteria for individuals and businesses to undergo a tax audit and penalty for failing to do so. The Income Tax Department of India requires the eligible businesses and professionals to undergo a tax audit in order to achieve the following objectives. To ensure the proper maintenance of books of accounts, to make observations and rectify any discrepancies found, to report a particular information such as tax allowances and disallowances, TDS payments, and compliance with all income tax laws. As per the income tax norms, the following categories of businesses are supposed to undergo a tax audit. Businesses not opting for the presumptive taxation scheme, whose total income, gross receipts, or turnover exceeds rupees 1 crore in the financial year. Businesses eligible for presumptive taxation scheme under Section 44AE, 44BB, and Section 44BBB, but claim profits or gains less than the prescribed limit are also eligible to undergo a tax audit. Businesses opting out of the presumptive taxation during the lock-in period will become ineligible to claim presumptive taxation for the next five years. These businesses also become eligible to undergo a tax audit if they meet the income criteria. Like businesses, even the professionals are supposed to undergo a tax audit on meeting certain conditions. The following professionals are supposed to undergo a tax audit. Professionals whose gross receipts exceed Rs. 50 lakh in the financial year. Professionals eligible for presumptive taxation under Section 44 ADA who make profits or gains less than the prescribed limit but whose income exceeds the amount not chargeable towards income tax. The following businesses that make losses are supposed to undergo a tax audit. Businesses not opting for presumptive taxation whose income exceeds Rs. 1 crore in the financial year. If a taxpayer is earning more than a threshold but has suffered a loss through his business and the gross receipts exceed Rs. 1 crore in the financial year, then a tax audit is needed. A tax auditor is supposed to furnish his tax audit report in a particular format. Form 3CA is to be furnished if the taxpayer is already mandated to undergo a tax audit by any other law. Form 3CB is required if the taxpayer is not mandated to undergo a tax audit under any other law. Effective from the current assessment year, the threshold to undergo a tax audit has been increased to Rs. 5 crore. This is only when the taxpayer's cash receipts and payments are less than 5% of the turnover. Now the question is how to furnish this tax audit report once it is ready. The tax audit report will be furnished online by the auditor in his capacity of chartered accountant. The taxpayer should add CA details to the login portal and accept or reject the tax audit report. A tax audit report once accepted will stand duly filed. Generally, the due date to file the tax audit report is 30th September of the assessment year. However, for the current assessment year, it is 31st of October. If you have made foreign transactions, then it is 30th November. Non-compliance with tax audit will attract penalties. The minimum of the following applies as penalty. Rs 1.5 lakh or 0.5% of your total sales, income or gross receipts. Therefore, it is important to furnish your tax audit report within the deadline. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.